welcome. Today, something a little bit different. We're gonna be checking out the engineering behind the planes used in Red Bull Air Race. We are in Eloy, Arizona at Kirby Chambliss's place, and we're about to go for a ride in the Edge 540T. It's a two-seater version of the competition plane in Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Now, I've never been in an aerobatic plane, so I'm not really too sure what to expect. I know we're gonna be hitting some high G-forces, maybe around seven Gs, and I'm excited to go for it. The power plant of the Edge 540 is an air-cooled six-cylinder horizontally opposed engine. The engine code AEIO 540 indicates that the engine is aerobatic AE, as in the plane can fly upside down with both oil and fuel pressure maintained. The I stands for fuel injection, the O for horizontally opposed, and the 540 for the displacement of the engine in cubic inches. From the engine, the propeller is directly driven by the crankshaft. There's no gearbox or gear reduction used, and the engine speed is limited to 2,950 RPM for competition. The pitch, or angle of attack of the blades, is very much so like the gearing of a car. A fine, or low pitch, is similar to using a lower gear with a high gear ratio. Great for initial acceleration, but with a low top speed. A coarse, or high pitch, is similar to using a higher transmission gear with a lower ratio more efficient and it allows for traveling at higher speeds. The pitch is adjusted constantly to maintain the peak 2950 RPM. The plane is incredibly light and yet incredibly rigid. Including the driver, fuel, everything, the plane has a minimum weight of 696 kilograms or about 1535 pounds. For comparison, that's significantly less than a smart car, yet with a massive 8.8 .8 liter engine. While the two-seater version of the plane has open wing tips, the competition plane features tips that reduce the influence of vortices disrupting the airflow over the wing, greatly reducing drag. At an outside like 4G loop, like if the seat belts go, you're not gonna hold yeah, yourself. You like, no, it's not even right. possible. <laughs> <laughs> All of the controls for rotating the plane are completely man-powered. There's no electronics or hydraulics to assist in maneuvering the plane. Kirby Chambliss will control the rudder with his feet and the ailerons or wing flaps with his hands. I was fortunate enough to go for a ride along with Kirby Chambliss in a two-seater version of the Edge 540. This was undeniably the most intense experience of my life. It's hard to describe just how overwhelming the flight was. Perhaps like riding a roller coaster at five times the speed it was designed for. Your vision tunnels as you commonly and unwillingly dance with the idea of passing out completely. Unprepared, it's easy to find your head against the canopy. The roll rate of the plane is around 500 degrees per second, about double that of an F-16. As violent as all of this may sound, and as disorienting as it can be, it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The thrill, the stunning view of the Arizona landscape, and the sensation of riding in a plane engineered to be far more capable than my body can handle, it is a day I will never forget. Thank you Kirby, thank you Red Bull, and thank you all for watching. Yeah, right now, immediately after getting out, oof, I just feel a little nauseous.